You know, when I think of the censorship, the YouTube censorship, that's getting worse and worse. Facebook, uh, I don't even bother with Twitter. Um, and so it's nice to have platforms that you can still talk about some of these topics that you know we can't talk about. and Or, you know, you can't be anti topics and you know what topics I'm talking about you know the the shot I'll just say that and you know um, it has to deal with voting and a former president president number 45 right can't even talk about that can't even talk about him but there are still platforms where we can and it's not that we need to completely ditch YouTube and ditch Facebook we could still use those to try to lead other people to let them know, hey, we're also here talking you know, more freely. But I just, I never thought that this would happen where we would get to this point where it's like, wow, you know, obviously I think a lot of people, if they would have known YouTube was gonna be like this, Facebook was gonna be like this, we probably would have never signed up for it. And I guess, I don't know. I don't know when the bait and switch happened, when it finally clicked. Uh, <laughs> Right around the time President Trump got in office, maybe even earlier for some people, I don't know. Didn't ha didn't start happening to me, probably until around 2019, I would say, 2018, 2019, 2020. 2020 was really the big one. It was like, wow, you can't even can't even just have an open discussion on YouTube about voter fraud. You can't even have an open discussion um, on YouTube about COVID-19. It has to be one or the other. And so that's why I've been really working on this COVID-19 book to kind of go back to some of the early days. That's stuff that probably a lot of you know. And there probably would be a lot of things in this book, uh, or not in the book, that a lot of you know here too. But what is going in the book is to really cover those early days and how there was a big switch between what the WHO and what some people were saying about masks and about the ventilators and all that good stuff and it was all president trump's fault and he should have done more while um when president trump got serious about COVID 19 his haters his detractors the congressmen the people in our government that hated him had to go on the other side and then once that didn't work then it was like oh well you know yeah he did something but he didn't he should have done more he should have done this he should have oh he's, he's trying to play doctor and the right to try, which is what President Trump gave us, the right to try other things, other options, I think is a very valuable tool. And it's going to go down in, in history for what he did, the good he did for this country. God bless.